and Tato Cat, and welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Lucid 9 on Duel. Previously, Elizabeth and Katsu had a conversation, and he invites her to his whatever he's doing, and she turns him down because reasons, I guess. And uh, now she's contemplating why she did that as he walked away all mysterious like. And now she's talking about her dad. And that's where we left off. Let's continue. No, not really to decide anything. Just to make me willing to make me think I'm in charge of my destiny and my future. Because this is the grand metropolis of Isamu. A social... a society that's always ten steps ahead of this the rest of the world in terms of technology technological advancements and innovation if you're not taking advantage of it then you're doing it wrong does it matter if that advantage is actually available to you if it's being pushed over your wishes if it'll even make you happy I don't know but there's no need to know just to follow the rules to let yourself be observed by the myriad of security cameras and every corner of every street to have your every interaction be scrutinized by faceless behind by faceless by a faceless suit behind the screen everyone has to conform to accept the rules of this game and play by them regardless of their personal circumstances. And if they don't, then no one will bat an eye when they are eliminated on the spot. That's the type of landscape we live in right now. Everything works as it should, with no cogs missing from the machine. A safer world, a stable world, a restrictive world. I let my feet do the thinking, taking me further down the district. A brick building pops into view. Its front lane adorned by Patches of grass, robust trees, and well-maintained greenery. Evoking a sense of peacefulness in spite of the urban ambiance. The only artificial structure besides the building itself is an avant-garde sculpture of what appears to be a cat. I'd seen it regularly in pamphlets and websites, but it's the first time I've stopped to look at the real thing. It's definitely odd. There's a certain charm to it that's hard to deny. It explains why students would stop on the tra stop on their tracks just to take pictures of it, giggling innocently as they do. 
Oh yeah, yes, yeah, so it's, it, I guess it's kind of a cat. Sure, why not? Let's say it's a cat. Students of the University of Isamu. The same building I'm staring at now. If things had gone right, maybe I'd be just like them. I'd be strolling around campus during my time off, hanging out with like-minded friends, or maybe stuck in some library room preparing for an upcoming exam. So many options, so many what-ifs. But that's not the future this restricting world has assigned me. Don't think, don't wander. There's nothing for you there. Go home, Elizabeth. Yes, I should probably do just that. Elizabeth? Question mark? There's lots of choices there that I don't know who it is. But before I can turn around, a familiar voice calls my name. Oh my gosh, it's Elizabeth. Hey, look who it is. No way, no way, it's been so long. Oh, now these aren't people I was expecting to meet today. Is it the, or, or Blondie and Red? <laughs> I don't remember their names. I remember, I remember, um... Mecha Guyver. <laughs> oh, they're girls. Okay. Other than the blonde chick who hung out a lot with the main love interest. I really wish I remembered everyone's name better than I do. It's been so long since I played it. My goodness. Why? Hello, girls. What a surprise to meet you here. See, I told you it was Elizabeth. I wouldn't mistake her anywhere in the world. Oh my gosh! What are you even doing here? The two, um, the two girls that have approached me used to be my classmates back in high school. Certain people thought of them as my groupies. And the nerve of them. These two were perfectly capable of individual thought. And what's more, I consider them my friends. Sure, maybe they idolized me a bit too much, but it wasn't as if that hurt anybody. Not that I know of, at least. Cult leaders. Just saying. I didn't think we'd see you again. Not in person, at least. Yeah, just the other day, we talked about how it was about time you showed up in the news or something. I surely hope that in a good way. Of course, you were so amazing back in school. We never knew where you went. Afterwards, but I bet it was some amazing private university, right? Or company, those clothes you were wearing makes you look so professional. I had gone out in my work clothes simply because there wasn't anything my in my wardrobe that looked nice and 
also didn't need an urgent trip to the washing machine. Thank you. You two are looking lovely as always, as well. Shizuka, Miko, they have names. I dodged the issue of my education and employment by calling their names. Lo and behold, they immediately swoon at their mere at the mere mention. I don't know who's who. <laughs> I just know girl one and girl two. Yeah, I didn't think you remember our names. But why wouldn't I? We were inseparable classmates after all. Oh my god. I think I'm going to cry. Now, now. No need to be so melodramatic. It's just me. But we really miss you. I smile gently at their kind words. To be fair, my mood hasn't exactly improved from the depressing thoughts that were assaulting me earlier, but I can hardly walk away now. These girls look so happy to see me, and even though we haven't met before in forever, I still consider them my friends. The least I can do is talk to my friends. Since you're out here, I gather you don't have any classes to attend. Yeah, no lecture to worry about whatsoever. We were about to hang out with friends today. Actually, go to the cafeteria, grab some lunch, the usual. Oh! Miko makes an expression as if she just remembered something. Sorry, we didn't mean to ignore you, Hisao. Hisao? Uh, isn't, isn't that, um, Mecha Giver? <laughs> they turn around and address a boy who'd been standing a few feet away this whole time. Why does Hisao sound so familiar? Who is Hisao? I know there was a person in the game named Hisao and I can't remember who. There was, wasn't there? Or am I just thinking, am I just combining games I've played in the past into one thing? <laughs> Good grief. And after going through all that trouble to invite me. Kidding, kidding. I just didn't want to interrupt. So their friend was a boy. Well, I guess that's hardly surprising. These girls were very into mingling with the opposite sex back in our academy days. He was at least courteous enough to keep his distance until it was the right moment to approach. A far cry from some of the boys I had to endure. Elizabeth, meet his sow. He sow, meet Elizabeth. Hello, how do you do? It's nice to meet you. Elizabeth. Oh yeah. The girls sometimes talk about how they had this amazing classmate back at the... I-I-B-A. I don't remember what that stands for either. My goodness. <laughs> I'm honored to meet you in the flesh. 
Oh, please. I wasn't such a big deal. She was always the top of her class, you know? And she was so good at, su at sports and drawing literally anything she tried her hand at. Their flattery is humbling, but the truth isn't so pristine. Every time an exam approached, I had to go several days with little to no sleep. Sometimes not even making up, not even makeup could mask my exhaustion. But I had to show up to school anyway, or my attendance record would suffer. That's right, she was Miss per Perfect. All that effort, and in the end, Elizabeth, are you feeling all right? Oh, oh yes. I apologize. It's been a tiring week. You can, you can say that again. Really, sometimes it feels like all our professors want to see us bleed. I <laughs> hope that's not true again. That is university life for you. The most you can do is endure. They each flash a complicated spell before drifting their thoughts somewhere else. Hey, if you don't have much a uh, wrong person. Hey, if you don't have much else to do, why not? Hang out with us. You sound like you're exhausting to hang out with. Can I pass? <sighs> but didn't you say you were going to the cafeteria? I'm not a student here. Don't worry. No one's going to make a fuss if you're with us. But I could hardly intrude. I check the bespectacled students. You can't just say glass wearing bespectacled student. Hoping he'll offer me a way out. Why not? The more the merrier, right? Of course he's not going to say no. If he's with these two girls, and he's seen what's been happening as he's like standoff from the background, he knows that they absolutely are fangirling over you. And thus, if he says no, he will have to face the wrath. There's no way he's going to do that. Sadly, he's apparently too good nature to understand the intentions behind my look. No, he probably knows. So, what do you say? I shuffle in place, trying to come up with a good answer. You can't, right? It's not that I can't, but... I look at them. Look at the trendy clothes they are wearing. At their bags, probably filled to the brim with books. Then at the building behind them, and that intellectual looking professors walking out of it. I imagine the classrooms they are leaving behind, and the years of history and research they've been a part of. And lastly, I consider that for a couple hours, I could become part of that as well. Just another university student, living the campus life happily. 
my heart is overcome with fright. Actually, yes, I can't. But didn't you just say today was your day off? Listen, I don't understand why people have a hard time understanding this. A day off does not mean you're necessarily free. Sometimes a day off means I'm going to do nothing but play visual novels by myself, not being with humans, because I have already spent my entire day, week, year with humans. Sometimes day off means you have to do things that you can't do while you're working. Day off does not mean you are free to do things, okay? It just doesn't. That's not how it works. Sadly, even while it's technically my day off, that doesn't mean I can neglect my responsibilities. Yeah. I do laundry on my day off. So much fun. All of the laundry. <laughs> I'm being expected somewhere else uh, shortly, and it's of vital importance that I'm punctual. Lies flow out of my mouth, one after another. I, I see. Sounds pretty rough. But just as you expect from Elizabeth, always doing something important. And they believe them all. Why wouldn't they? I'm saying all this confidently with a pain look on my face. Thinking expressions is something I'm good at. Subtle ones such as smiles are harder to pull off, but wariness. Strain your eyes and cheeks just a little and... Everyone will trust your every word. Again, I apologize. I'd like to catch up as well, but... It's no big deal. We can always chat some other time. Do you still see patter? Do you still use patter? I'm right, patter. I remember patter. much nowadays, but for you two, I can make an exception. Great! We've been meaning to reach out to our old group. Maybe even have a little reunion? You... Alright, oh, Shizuka. You had one with your friend a while ago, right? Hisao? A while ago, yes. Is he Sal? He seems, uh, suspicious. Also, who- where am- I know I played a game where someone was named he Sal and it's annoying me that I don't know which game it is. It was quite a blast. Seeing some old faces is always a joy. We haven't seen that Suki in a while with either. Do you know how she's doing? Why yes, actually. I see her often as she sometimes comes to visit me at work. At work? Elizabeth, you're working? Oh no, I let that slip. I must be getting rusty seeing as I don't have to think my economical situation as often anymore. I apologize. I stumbled, I mean, I meant to say that sometimes I visit her at work. Natsuki is now a Lumenskate employee, you see, and my Responsibilities sometimes take me to her workplace. So you're like 
a Lemonscape partner? I'm I'm so jelly. That is a big accomplishment for someone so young. He knows we are lying through our teeth. He knows it. I just know that he knows it. Oh, it's gonna make a drook sound because I touched my table. <laughs> well, it's something along those lines. But if you do end up planning such a gathering, I'd be glad to be there. That would make me so happy. We should really get to we should really get to it, right? Yeah. It's not like it's impossible to gather everyone. But with everything that happened, it's just a bit their expressions immediately go sour. Ah, uh, they must be talking about the incident at the academy. The incident. Sure, call it that. Us in our later years could continue with our classes from home or online, but the younger students had no choice but to change schools. It was a prime situation for once good friends to quickly lose contact. You had a rough too, right, Hisao? Oh, not at all. The same as everybody else, I'd imagine. You were a student at the academy as well. Just the first year. I got lucky and found a place to accommodate me right away. Granted, it was still a big source of stress for me and my... and for everyone. I'm very glad it's all in the past. Yes, the past. In the past. And nothing else. Yeah, stress is no bueno, ha! Huh? <sighs> Can she just leave these people now? <sighs> no bueno at all. That's why we shouldn't go... That's why we should go distress. My, I'm glad to hear that. Glad? Well, yes. If you are that stressed, it means you two have been putting a lot of effort into your your situation. Does it not? <laughs> well, not really. That what student? Does, right? Hard working ones. Pisao probably does. Not really? Did I just hear that right? Uni has been so Uni has been so bad lately. There's even been protests about it. Haven't you heard? Protest? Come to think of it, I remember hearing something along those lines a while back. Something about the University of Isamu being more difficult than it used to. Of course, it sounded like the usual dribble to me. Students too lazy or entitled to accept that life is hard, so I paid no attention, paid no mind. 
So like every year? Oh, right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to stop here. <laughs> and we'll see how the conversation between these three, these four people go. Just hopefully we'll get away from Shizuka and Yo soon, whatever her name is. In the next episode, I'm Tablecat. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon.